Ryan Durge here, and there is a lot that was going on in the entertainment world this week. Bieber's brawl plus a lawsuit against Ed Sheeran for $20 million. All this and more in this week's Ryan's Roundup. Let's start things off with the massive $20 million lawsuit against Ed Sheeran. Songwriters Martin Harrington and Thomas Leonard have accused Ed of one of the worst things that a songwriter can be accused of, flat out stealing and plagiarizing another song. So they've said in their lawsuit that Ed has done this with his song Photograph, which is from 2012, and that it copies their song Amazing, which is from 2010. What do you think? Do you think those songs sounded similar? Well, these songwriters are not messing around and they mean business. They've actually hired the same lawyer that represented Martin Gaye's estate when they were going after Robin Thicke and Pharrell's hit song Blurred Lines saying that it sounded like Martin Gaye's Gotta Give It Up. And Martin Gaye's estate actually won that lawsuit winning millions of dollars. So we'll have to see how this lawsuit turns out and what ends up happening. But I really feel like singers and songwriters are in and out of court now more than actual criminals and it seems like a dangerous world out there for producers and all these people that are creating these hit songs because before you know it, someone may be coming up from nowhere and saying that you copied their song even though you may have never even heard the song. Now to remember that just last week, Justin Bieber and his producers were the latest to be sued for allegedly ripping off a song. But this week, Justin Bieber is making headlines for something different. I like to call it a beaver brawl. Check out this video that TMZ obtained. Now don't worry believers, Justin Bieber says that he was not scratched up from this fight posting this picture on Instagram showing that he didn't have any bruises from the scuffle. Someone has come forward and said that they're the man in the video that was beating up Bieber and said that the whole fight arose because Justin Bieber didn't want to sign an autograph. Listen man, that's Justin's right. If he doesn't want to sign an autograph, he doesn't have to and it doesn't mean that this sort of violence has to happen. I'm siding with Bieber on this, I've got to say. Now moving into the world of film, the internet was ecstatic over spotting what they said was a lesbian couple in Finding Dory. At least they thought it was a lesbian couple, while Ellen DeGeneres set the record straight while she was on the blue carpet at Finding Dory's premiere. Poor baby, let me get that for you. Woo! No, I think, I don't know how that, I th it's, it's really amazing because it's two women pushing a stroller, which I didn't even notice, and one of them has short hair, and I, apparently, it, it, if you have short hair, you're a lesbian. I did not know that was the rule. I'm kind of bummed that Ellen said that that wasn't a lesbian couple in the film, and I think in my head I'm going to still think that it is one, because I think it is so important to have LGBT characters within these movies as children continue to grow up, identify as different things, grow up in multi-dimensional homes, with lesbian, gay parents, transgender parents. So it's important to have these kind of characters in films. And you'll remember that the internet actually started a petition to get Elsa a lesbian girlfriend in the upcoming Frozen sequel. I'm not sure if they're gonna do that, but I'm so down for that idea. And that would be so exciting if that happened. Just on Wednesday night, I interviewed folk and Motown singer Austin Roberts after his set at Supermarket and he shared a pretty funny story with me about how he had written a song about his friend's ex-girlfriend. Now I've heard of singer-songwriters writing songs about their exes, but I think this is the first time I've ever heard of someone writing a song about someone else's ex. I'll let him explain. She was just a character and I thought it would be funny just to write a song about it, I, it was it was kind of inspired by her walking drunk down the stairs one day, and that's honestly like one of the first lines of the song. Is uh, 
I'm talking about her drinking too much wine and her kind of like stumbling around. I thought it was hilarious and it kind of just, you know, blossomed into the full song. Did she make it down the stairs? I think, yeah, she did. As I recall, she, she made it. No cracked skulls, so that's good. Does your friend know that you wrote a song about his ex-girlfriend? Not necessarily, no. no. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he has yet. <laughs> I guess he knows now. Yeah, yeah, he does. It's a pretty funny story, I gotta admit. And if you want to check out the full interview with Austin, you can go to facebook.com slash ryandurgy or youtube.com slash ryandurgy. Plus, we did a Facebook Live, which was a lot of fun. This week, I'm actually going to leave you with a song by Austin Roberts, my favorite song by him. It's called Rewind. I hope you guys like it as well. Thanks for watching this week's Ryan's Roundup. Have a great weekend.